So what do you think has changed in terms of reading and communication in the school in the last year? Um, in the last year, um, reading and communication has really improved because things like um, writing the day in full in our books, the head teacher has thought about that and like, I think that really helps because I know some adults who don't even know how to write the date because they, in school they didn't do that, they always write a short one. I think that helped as well and the fact that there is a new library and it catches your eye because of all the bright colours, you can really um, get drawn to it and you can just walk in and ask a question like, is this a library? And get captivated from them. Do you think the library is a space that people like to use? How do the sick formers use the library? Um, we use it not music for like studying, um, we use it for music, we use it for like researching, for the research for the books and stuff, so we use it a lot. Okay, and what about for fun in the library? Just reading with your friends really, having a good time, getting lost inside books. Yeah, I think it's a really fun atmosphere, it's not like, like there are some libraries where you can go there and then like you might be shushed a couple of times and then it might be really boring. But then, but like this library, it's like you can come in here, but although you have to be quiet, you can still like have a little bit of fun and still be, um, still be reading and like, yeah. You don't know how happy this makes me as an English teacher. Do you think that students are reading more because the books are here and they're available to them? Yeah. 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 Do you think as a community that we read a lot in the school? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Do, you, do you see teachers reading? Yeah, yeah. I see teachers reading like um, mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, during lunch and break. Yeah. Oh, and really? In, yeah. yeah, and in their classes, they have like this rack where it says the book they're reading this week. And when you see it, like, oh, I should get a book, and things like comparing what books you're reading. If you tell your friend, oh, um, have you read Jacqueline Wilson, Makeup or whatever, and like they're like, oh, I tried that, you know, and it's just a fun way of socialising. How important do you think communication is? Because it's our specialism in the school and, and I work really hard and I think all the teachers really care about it. What does it, what does it mean to you guys? I think it's really important because if you don't communicate, a lot of things won't be done. Like talking to each other is something very important actually because if you don't talk to people, then you can't really do anything because if you don't tell people that something's wrong, then they won't be able to know and then they won't be able to help you or if you want to do something but you don't talk about it, no one will be able to do it with you because no, no one knows. Do you think everyone communicates well in the school? Yeah, I think yeah. maybe they do. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah, especially yeah. because of the fact on the windows it says like um, things like were and where, stuff like that. People get confused sometimes and like uh, things like there and there. It's so the there's same handy hints around yeah, the school. Yeah. Like on the windows and on the walls, it's really helps as well. Because like communication is really a big a big point in the school at the very moment. And I think that the school does a really good job to um like especially teachers to encourage their students to um read more. Like especially English um teachers because my um English teacher Miss Cable, she um she would sometimes let us have like ten minutes or twenty minutes of reading so that we can like read whatever book we're reading and we can really um, like expand our vocabulary and then it will help us in the future and all our other lessons that we have as well. Fantastic. And Martina, you have a, a reading, you're in year seven, so you have yeah. a reading lesson. How is that? It's actually really fun because you get to read books. You get to choose whatever book you want from the accelerated reader part and then you choose one that's in your level and then once you've done it, you get to take a fun little quiz about it and it can and once you've done the quiz, they, it can earn you vivas and things like that. Fantastic. So students are really enjoying that. Yeah. And as Year 12, so you're obviously our Literature and Communication Ambassadors in the school. Can you just tell us what you're doing to help the younger students communicate? Well, we have, um, well, we kind of, we join in on clubs, so like creative writing on a Wednesday after school. And um, we help, like, develop their reading and writing skills so that when they go into the higher years and they start doing all their exams they are they are ready and they are prepared for everything that's what i think and it's good because we've already been through it so they we can tell them our experiences and they can learn off them as well and how are you both finding uh, a level literature in school oh it's good it's good it's fun we've got like there's lots of work but it's fun to do yeah okay what have you done so far this year um, we've looked at two books and we've been on a trip and we got a trip today. Um, yeah. 
I think as a teacher, one of the things I'm most proud of this year is, is the work that you as Year 12s are doing with the younger students, seeing you come to the clubs after school, Film Club, Creative Writing Club, because they find it so valuable to talk to students who've already been through it and to see you writing, to see you talking with them. That's one of my favourite bits of working at the school, I have to say. Um, is there anything that you'd like to see the school do in terms of communication? What should we do next year? How can we make it even better? I think that I think it would be better if we could have like more um, more events because we've had not very little, but we've had like quite a lot of events, but not a lot of people have really come or really like got into it because maybe they were nervous or they thought it wasn't that good. But now um, the school is improving on many levels, so I think it's helped. Um, students to become more confident and now if, if we have like another reading event like the sleepover that we had the readathon then maybe that could help students and then more students will come um, can you just explain what that was because i'm not sure everyone would know um the readathon was um an event that we had where it was i think on a friday yeah it was on a friday and after school you could go home and then you, you would come back and then on that event you would like read different books, mm -hmm. you play different I was like, there. you play different games and you do different quizzes and it was really fun because it helped um, because I think the students really enjoyed it and they got to read books that they never thought that would be a good book to read. Like some students might not like to read action action mm -hmm. books or romance books, but now they've expanded and now they like to read more. Yeah, it's Deborah, really, you were there. It was yeah, a sponsored it's really, really overnight encouraging readathon. Tell me because that. like um, you see, because when you're at home, no one's reading. You don't really feel that provoked to read. Just go and take a book and like lie down and read. But when you're there, you can see everyone around you, and you just when you start reading, you just can't stop because you're um, inspired by everyone around you. Especially when teachers have the books in there, you're like you have a PE teacher who has a book. You never thought that those two would go together but it does. I'm and sure the PG yeah. will be delighted to hear that. I know but everyone like <laughs> like everyone reads but you know it's sometimes you have to be provoked to be able to do it because you don't necessarily go home and like just take a book and start reading because you don't feel no one in your family reads as well but That's you can do it. If inspirational. You want. Right. Let's finish. Just tell me the best thing that you've read since you've been at the school. Israel what's the best thing that you've uh, read? The best thing I've read um can it be like um, books in lessons as well. Anything that you read? Um, I think the book that we're currently reading is called um, Lull of Thunder, Hear My Cry. I think that's a really good book because it also speaks about um, racism and it also explains like um, stories about how people had to live through that. And I think that it's a really good book because many people enjoy it, even the people who, do, who don't like to read. But I would say that the only annoying thing about that is when we have to stop when we get to the really good bit and then you just want to find out what happens next <laughs> and then we have to wait until the next lesson. So, I think Fantastic. that's it. What about you, what's the best thing that you read? Well, in library lessons, I'm reading a book at the moment called Ink Heart and it's really interesting. They're fantastic, aren't they? The yeah. Ink Heart books, the trilogy. Brilliant, Deborah? Um, um, my dad, in like when I was coming to year seven in the summer holidays, he bought a book for me. It was the first um, Princess Diary book, and I was looking on the computer, like looking for all the other series, and they were like really expensive because each book was like, well, it was expensive anyway. So then when I came into school and I saw all of them, I managed to read all nine of them last year, year seven. And then this year, when the new batch of books came, the tenth one was there because I would be looking through it everywhere. Yes, that could have ordered for you. I have to say, yeah. after having seen it, that's it. <laughs> Guys, what's your favourite book? Um, I think mine is *Enjoying Love* by Ada McEwan. I just think it's a really like in-depth book, and it makes you think about the the way that things happen and why they happen, and maybe what spins off the events and stuff. It's, it's a really good book. I mm -hmm. recommend it to anyone. Mm -hmm. Notably, um, short stories by D.H. Lawrence, like all of the different stories and different like aspects of relationships. So. Interesting choices. Very proud of you guys. How can we get everyone reading? Because not everyone's reading in the school, are they? How can we How can we make it even better? I think you could do ev events that are not like blatantly reading and trick like, people into reading. No, like <laughs> mix it with different things. Like not just reading, maybe like. Um, like the read song was a really good one. It could have been like um, we were we were reading, but we we're also watching movies or books, which yeah. then we got to read later. Things like that and like film club, 
that's also another one. You you get to read, but also you get to watch a film at the same time. Yeah. Things like that should happen more often. I think. Excellent, good advice. What do you think, Martina? Because you're new to the school and you yeah. haven't done any of these read a things yet. What can we do to make everyone in your, your year group read? I think they should have like clubs where they read a book and once they're finished reading it, they could have like small groups of people acting it out because there's a lot of talent in the school and if they act it out, more people will want to join in and like get um, acting because when you read a book, you usually just think, oh, I'm just going to read it. I'm not going to do anything with it after. But if you read it and then you act it out, it's like it's going to be in your head forever because you'll always remember how to do it. I think that's yeah. a brilliant idea. I'm going to mm -hmm. put you in charge of that. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to do that. What do you think? You've been here a long time, both of you. What, what can we do to make it even better for the younger groups? I think, like, the same as Martina said, like, linking it, like, and Deborah, like, linking it with, like, other subjects to make it more, like, fun and spontaneous and other people will be like they'll enjoy it more because it's not just read a book it's read a book know about it learn about it act it out it's yeah. so it's something you do every day and across yeah. all the subjects and, and that everyone mm -hmm. can choose yeah. do you think people know what to read do you think everyone knows how to no because it's that's what happened to me up until i was in year four and the parents evening um like i wasn't reading a lot so my dad asked the teacher what's happening and my, my teacher was like does she get to pick the book she reads? But my dad was like, no, I just buy the books for her and ask her to read it. And that was the thing, I didn't really know how to say that I didn't enjoy the books. And then in that parents' evening, we went to a shop to buy a book and I picked the book. And then the first one was Jackson Wilson. And I started reading that and that's how I got engaged and I started on Kathy Cassidy, Megapop. That's how I just and got... And we can't stop you. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much.